Are you looking to buy a stage pole or maybe you're trying to decide between the stage pole or a removable pole? I'm here to give you some tips. This is a stage pole. This pole happens to be made by X-Pole. I have used X-Pole stage poles, Lupit stage poles, and I also used to have a platinum stage pole. Quick side note, even though this is an X stage, I had my pole powder coated. So don't go looking for a purple X stage X pole. It doesn't exist. Here are the pros of using a stage pole. It's awesome to take it outside. Stage poles are awesome if you have really tall ceilings. Stage poles are great for people who are performers. And then I know I have the right equipment for me and I don't have to worry if the venue has a ceiling where I can use a pressure mounted pole. I can also use it outside. You can also add a lollipop to the X stage. I think Lupit has the option for a lollipop as well. The cons of a stage pole is they can get really heavy. So know that these things are not light and easy to carry around. Stage poles can be time consuming to set up. They're not that difficult, but compared to a pressure mounted pole, it takes a lot longer to set up a stage pole. So if it's something you plan on setting up and taking down every time you practice, you might find you start to get unmotivated just because it takes so much time to get ready to practice. The poles wobble. This is normal. There's nothing wrong. They wobble because there's nothing attached at the top, but it can be a little bit scary for somebody who's new to using a stage pole or if you're a beginner. The main issue I have with stage poles is the inability for me to do floor work. I'm just under five foot eight. So here's what happens when I try and utilize the stage for dancing and floor work. So you can see when I do a split, my legs hang off. So this makes moving around and feeling like I have space to do things on the floor kind of tricky. So if you're a shorter person, you may not have any issues with this. I wanted to point this out though, because if you're somebody who really enjoys dancing and flowing and floor work, a stage pole is really gonna feel restrictive. A removable pole allows you to utilize whatever space you have, get yourself a removable pole. This pole comes with a dome. This is not the dome it comes with. This is a dome from another one of my X poles. The new domes are much smaller than this, but I have slanted ceilings. So if you have a vaulted ceiling, or if you just want to make sure that your pole doesn't slip ever, get one of the mounts. And this is how easy it is to take it down. You loosen up the screws. I already had them loose. You twist it and twist it until it's low enough and then you just lift up and pop it out. If you feel lazy and you wanna cheat, I leave my pole together if I'm just gonna take it down for a little bit and then put it back up. But if you leave your pole together for a while, like months without touching it, the, the joints could get stuck. It could start to rust if you're leaving it somewhere where there's moisture. So you definitely wanna take care of your pole once you take it down. Please understand, I'm not saying that stage poles are bad by any means. I just want you to understand what you're in for because they are very expensive. If stage pole you get, they're always going to take up more space than just a permanent mount pole or a removable pole. 